New London returned to its adopted home field at the Coast Guard Academy Saturday, the site of the Whalers' only loss of the season at the hands of Montville. Their across-the-river rivals from Fitch had beaten Montville and came in with a 5-0 record. Ever since we was going up, we've been rivals. It's, it's always going to be a head-on, head-on collision. Like back in the 2000s when they had the great team, they used to run over us. Um, we talked about it all week that they talked about the new Fitches come back. Um, they made a couple comments saying that this is the best team they've had in years. So we knew we had to come out and show them that they're not that old Fitch. The game's first points came with time running out in the first quarter on a Javon Elmore punt return. Uh, I seen it go up in the air, and I noticed that it was going to be short, so then I tried to one-hop it. And the punt return we set up was the right wall, so I followed my wall, and I got a good block from my good friend Rashad Pauly. He blocked them off, and I was heading to the goal line. Fitch struck back almost immediately on a 42-yard run by senior running back Allen Anderson early in the second quarter to tie the game at seven. But on the first play of the Falcons' next possession, the option toss from quarterback Derek Baldos is mishandled. Josh Zarita picks up the fumble for New London and takes it down to the 13-yard line. Senior fullback Stefan Dance would run for the first of his two touchdowns to make the score 13-7 after a missed extra point. After Dance scored again, Fitch fumbled the kickoff, giving the Whalers excellent field position. Quarterback Josh Clements took advantage finding Jason Pinkowski in the end zone to go up 27-7. The hard-hitting Whalers defense battered the Falcons repeatedly. The dance adding hit after hit from the linebacker position to go with his two offensive scores. He's, he's a player. That's, that's all there is to it. He, he shows up every week, every practice, and gives everything he has. Yeah, can't replace that. Leading 27-14 in the third, the Whalers had the ball on their own 30 when Clements hit Khalid Fields on a short pass. Fields dodged tackler after tackler, appearing to be wrapped up around midfield, only to escape and take the ball the rest of the way to the end zone, extending the Whalers' lead to 20. Clements kept the passing game going in the fourth, hitting Garrett McQueen down the sideline for a big game. Then on fourth and goal from the six, the Whalers chose to go for it, and Clements again connected with McQueen, who tiptoed just inside the front corner of the end zone to make the lead 26. The Whalers would go on to win 47-21. Huge win, huge win. You know, undefeated team, team that had beaten a team that we had lost to. You know, it's a chance for us to say, hey, we didn't come out the first game the way we wanted to. This is kind of a way to erase that and let's move forward.